Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Workman and I get asked every day what is the difference between silicone and saline implants and there's some fundamental differences. Both can give a very nice looking breast but I think like anything else in life there's advantages and disadvantages and uh, to kind of summarize real succinctly silicone or the gel implants tend to have a much softer feel they tend to feel more normal uh, they usually will move a little easier and they're much less likely to form ripples especially in people that have thin tissue so if, if you're thin or don't have a lot of breast tissue silicone implants may be a better option for you uh, the saline implant is um, the advantages with that are that we can go in through a smaller incision because we're able to roll it up when we put it in there can be adjusted in terms of the volume when we put them in I think that's uh, important and I think some people still are concerned and have concerns with having the old silicone or gel implants in them and they would rest more comfortably with the saline and I think for those people that um, are real concerned with um, you know uh, potential effects of silicone, I think a saline is a better option. We're currently putting in about 80% uh, of the gel implants and probably 20% of the saline. However, it's interesting if you look at a lot of the European countries, a lot of the women in Europe, uh, probably in some countries up to 99% of women, are opting for the gel implants. You know, they've seen the data, they've seen the studies, and, and, we're, seeing, and we're seeing more of a trend like that in the United States. So there's not a clear answer. I mean, I think like anything else, there's advantages and disadvantages, and I think it's important that you talk it over with your surgeon prior to choosing which uh, you think is best for you.